Hi, everybody. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Um, just coming to you real brief, hopefully. Uh, I want to talk about what I alluded to earlier in one of my posts. Um, sorry, I've been busy um, doing um, staining and creating shelves and everything else. So just kind of come to you in the raw today to kind of share with you a little bit of an update. I'm going to refer a little bit to my phone about some things that have been going on in my life and kind of want to share them with you. So um, back about, um, I wonder if that'll work for me. Back last week, a few things happened. And, and you got to remember that spirit brings things to you, not for you to feel like you're defeated, not to make feel like you are a victim but to basically allude to you that something you need to work on, however you're reacting to it, emotionally, mentally, et cetera, that shows you something inside of you that you're still holding onto that you need to clear out because that's a lower vibration. So you can raise into a higher vibrational self or better yet, as you rise into a higher vibration, you're allowing more of the truth of who you are to come in and to truly accomplish what you came here to accomplish this lifetime. So a friend of mine, uh, Dr. Uh, Velvet, she's a really good friend of mine. We work together and we'll probably be doing a lot more things working together for you guys to listen to as well. But she went ahead and posted, you know, three days of darkness, watch the skies, don't open the doors, anyone after a certain point to don't open the door to anyone after a certain point to anyone, even if you recognize her voice. And that for me was a catalyst to begin uh, the changes that were going to happen in my life. And at the time that they were happening, I heard spirit loud and clear. It's okay. Let it go. It's okay. This is meant to leave. This okay. This is part of your past. This is part of your uh, a lower vibration. Um, and so I, last night when I finally, you know, went to bed and I woke up, we call it the witching hour. That is just the she says it does not have anything to do with your witches. We just call it the witching hour as a cute, fun little uh, top uh, label. But around three to four is literally where the veil is the, the thinnest, where we can get the best inspiration. Um, being the, I shouldn't say in, inspiration. Inspiration, I've learned in, to be inspired to something outside of yourself that, um, gives you an idea or umph or motivation to move forward through some sort of creative form or fashion. Aspiration means it comes from within. And in truth, when spirit speaks with you, that's an aspiration um, to be aspired. And so anyways, at three o'clock yesterday, this past morning, uh, I woke up and immediately I got shown my legs being very strong. And I'm like, and, and in my half asleep moment, right? I was just like, Oh, okay. So I'm, I got stronger legs. That's cool. You know, not really putting it together. No, they're not there yet. They're not where I'm perceiving them to be. It was like, no, that was a matter of fact. That's where they are. And as I continued to wake up, um, therefore spirit spoke to me. I'm trying to find it. Oh, 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 hang on. Let me get back to it. There we go. Spirit spoke to me and said that this plasma cloud that's moving toward our solar system, our planet, or actually solar system, our sun. Now, a lot of people are, let me put a you know, pin in that right there. A lot of people are unaware. What are you talking about? What is this plasma cloud? Plasma cloud has actually been known about for probably the past 25 years, not been highly spoken about for supposedly in some realms, it's very hush hush. And, you know, the, the powers that be would not let it be spoken about. I have no idea if that's true or not regardless it's now being brought out that oh my gosh there is this plasma not oh my gosh but you know there's plasma cloud that is heading toward our planet or heading toward our solar system it's in within our solar system already i should say and the plasma is kind of known to work through the plasma the plasma cloud is known to work through the plasma of our sun to uh, project forth um, electromagnetic frequencies onto our planet to bring about some you know great changes and so at three o'clock last night, I also got shown of this cloud again, and I saw this cloud pulsating. And I'm like, oh, this is really interesting. So I started to look and do some research, because for those who actually respond and go, what are you talking about, Wendy? Um, and I said, you know, can uh, plasma actually pulsate? And yes, it can. Plasma is actually, you know, the electron jumping up to elicit light, jumping up to elicit light. And that can be considered a pulse. 
And let's see here. So I'm just going to read exactly what was shared with me, um, downloaded to me to spirit last night. Um, so we are receiving pulses from this um, plasma wave and we've received, we've received it in kind of light levels, but this just last two, three days, it's pretty much a big, heavy level. It will affect us physically because why our physicality is the lowest vibration that makes us us. So the lowest vibration is our physical body. Then comes our mental body. Boy, that's gonna be fun. And then comes our emotional body and then our etheric and then our spiritual. So um, research. So I, I wrote down, y'all need to research in you know, the vibrational frequency of plasma and of carbon. And basically, you know, see what basically happens and plasma basically vibrates anywhere between 40 kilohertz up to 2.5 gigahertz. So just to kind of let you know, um, for those science geeks out there. So a kilohertz is basically a frequency equal to a thousand cycles per second. A gigahertz is a billion cycles per second. So that's really pretty high. Um, the body, uh, so the carbon basically vibrates between 10 and 30 kilohertz. So you can see at the lowest vibration of plasma, it's going to affect our physical body first. Um, so I'm gonna make sure I'm staying on topic here as to what I said earlier. Um, so we can expect huge, huge changes with individual lives, also in society. So first of all, physical level, it's going to affect us on a physical level. For some of us that have not, that have been having pretty much relaxed, kick back, you know, last couple decade, you might be hit hard. You may not. Um, I'm just kind of perceiving that some of us light workers, those who are more sensitive, more sensitive to energies, we've been feeling it for quite a long time because we've been processing the energy for the planet, for people, for the collective, et cetera, et cetera, and for ourselves and our ancestry. And so we've been feeling on a consistent basis that we may continue to do so. Um, but there's things that can help us and everybody as far as that goes. And I'm going to go go into that a little bit later. For those who would not consider themselves generally light workers, which I don't believe anyone is not a light worker. And light worker, all that means is you're holding light, you're channeling, you're allowing the divine to bring light through you of higher vibration to really anchor onto this planet, to bring heaven onto earth. And that's literally what it is. And I believe everybody has a part to play within that um, particular process. It's also called, you know, the Christ within is being ignited. Um, but it's also going to show out, you know, of the physicality, you know, the carbon-based physicality upon this planet. Things are really going to rumble. Things are really going to start breaking apart. Um, you might find all of a sudden... Um, you know, a job all of a sudden not being there anymore and you're being asked to leave and know that it's okay. Like I said, stated earlier, you're not a victim. This is happening for a good reason. You're leaving that low vibration, stepping into a higher vibration that's allowing you to do so. Or it's there to elicit and to ignite you so that you realize, ooh, I've got this issue. I didn't realize I still had that issue or I still didn't have that issue of, for instance, you know, worth or I'm enough. I thought I cleared that a long time ago and here I'm being let go. And wow, that is being ignited that I don't feel that I'm enough. Um, and maybe you're showing if that is your key thing. Um, maybe you're trying to go to the wrong sources of trying to look for praise. And maybe it's old type vibrational sources from your childhood that could definitely go into a longer, um, deeper conversation. Um, so basically, what can you do? So as we go through this physicality of clearing out the physical, the lower vibrations, whether it be physical aches and pains, um, thinking that, oh, my gosh, this particular issue, you know, my knee's hurting again. Oh, my God, do I have to go in and get it you know, replaced? I would say relax, take some deep breaths, relax, meditate, relax, drink some water. This too shall pass. Relax. So some things that you can do on your own, which I've mentioned so many times again and again and again, which is drinking water. Now, drinking water from the tap, drinking water from pots at plastic bottles, no bueno. You want to go ahead and get yourself um, structured water if you can, um, definitely filtered water uh, that's in your own home, filtered water if you can. Uh, like I said, structured water, fresh spring water, 
Um, hydrogen water is also another good one, you know, kind of getting that structure back a little bit better for, to increase, improve healing within or uh, um, repair within the body. Um, another thing is getting out into nature. So nature is already gently lifting up into higher vibrations. It, nature can, you know, feel and, and utilize those higher vibrational tones and frequencies that have been coming onto the planet for quite some time. And just being in it helps our physical body, gives our physical body permission to let go. That is the biggest thing that causes our pain is that we're not letting go. We're just think that we have to hang on to whatever the thought, the program, um, and that resistance creates a dis, uh, dis ease in the body creates disconcern in the body or treats, you know, con yeah, concern in the body. And so the more that we let go, let the divine, let go, surrender, let go that we can actually, uh, you know, slough off those lower vibrations and allow the new vibrations to come into our body and give it more permission for us to be who, who we really are versus the programs that we've agreed to become throughout this lifetime. Um, next, we'll probably move the other, the other uh, particular levels, but I'm not going to address that. So other things that you can do to help your physical body. So your physical body, we as light beings, we are light beings, guys, you are energetic, you are energy. Your true state is energy of unconditional love. And that energy has focalized its power in one specific place to create the density of light that which we call physical expression, this human body. This human body is comprised of 60 trillion cells. The 60 trillion cells speak to our spiritual cells, speak to God via what's called chakra systems and nadis. And those chakra systems basically have a vibration of light and color and frequency. So basically, and that you're going back to your cells, your cells are an expression of your energetic self in a physical body, in a mental body, in an emotional body. So without your cells being healthy, right? Therefore, you can find some disease, dis -ease, I'm not saying disease, but I'm saying dis -ease ease within the body, you know, things that we don't like to feel um, within the body because these cells are not really functioning very well. And the reason they're not functioning very well, guys, because we've been on bombardment. We have been, there are other forces that are outside ourselves that have been at war with our body, making us sicker, unhealthier, wanting us to be dependent upon, uh, you know, other substances that which we believed and programmed in our in our mind that we have to have this in order to survive we have to have this in order to be better and reaching back to the roots of what making our body our body hang on a minute um making our body better healthier happier go down to roots organic you know foods um getting healthier water, you know, keeping meats to a minimum, et cetera. So you know, follow your instinct of what you feel is right by you. Um, I currently deal with, where is it? It's right there. I currently deal with the product that I have found that really has worked for me. Um, it works with light. It works with my own light. It reflects my own light back into the body, activating my own body to reawaken the stem cells. So stem cells are the cell that which our body is designed to heal those 60 trillion, 70 trillion cells that may be damaged due to the onslaught that which we received in this world. And that will help turn it around. So our body, my body can now reawaken my stem cells. So my stem cells can go out and start to repair and regenerate. You want to know more information about that? That's great. Just let me know. Um, but there's also other things that you can do, you know, but again, you don't have uh, meditation is phenomenal eating clean water drinking clean water eating clean food getting out in nature being in round water or bodies of water is all very and getting in the sun without sunscreen getting in the sun and receiving the sunlight for about anywhere from two to ten minutes to be not depending on the verity of your skin so those are some things to go ahead and, and implement into your life um so again, just to recap, we are being now uh, affected by this plasma wave as the pulsations start to emanate through to our sun and our sun to our cells through the electromagnetic frequencies and bringing about changes physically. So if you find yourself completely hurting um, or at wit's end, again, just breathe, relax, 
try to go ahead and talk yourself through it. Get out of that space of fear. Whenever we're in fear, we're out of alignment of the truth of who we are. We can no longer receive discernment from the divine. And we're also relying upon the programs to help save us. And the programs are earthbound, right? They're lower vibrational. So we want to go and work on getting out of that fear place back into alignment so we can feel, so we can be a so we can be aspired from the divine as to what we need to do next and have that discernment once again. So this is just a first stage and this is really exciting um, as we bring heaven on earth or 5D more into fruition. The more we focus on the upper vibrational things, the higher vibrational things, the more we will um, see and experience new experiences that are be high vibration will attract those will create those higher vibrational experiences and life will be more and more excited at the other side um, of this particular topic getting right back I'm sorry my phone just locked me out getting on the other side of this as I brought up earlier you know the three days of darkness don't open your door to anyone after a certain point or anyone even if you recognize their voice there are many people that have been um, compromised by their own lower vibrations that have been in their body that they have not removed. And the dark is going to work through them. It's like they're going to they're going to be the messenger of the lower vibrations to attack you, to get at you, to bring your vibrations down. So be aware of that when that does happen. Um, be aware of those things. Uh, so therefore, when it does happen, you kind of kind of step back and go, oh, I remember Wendy talked about low vibrations attacking and trying to bring my vibration down. Okay, interesting. You know, still pay attention what you're being triggered to because you're still, you know, attracting it somehow and clear out those triggers. And that would be the I'm agape process. And I will be now teaching that uh, for everybody for a um or a donation. There you go. Um, but as I'm going to start advertising what I'm doing behind the scenes so everybody can now benefit from it. Anyways, that's all I want to do. Just come on and share that little bit with you. Um, more, if anything comes out, you know, I only come on here, guys, when I see something new or I hear something being told something new. Um, if you want guidance, you just go back to my previous, um, uh, my previous videos because you just practice the same thing of what I said in the past. You just practice, practice, practice. All it is, is this is a this is a path of mastery. All right, guys. I hope this day finds you well, and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.